Hi guys, this is uh, Harsh Bhardwaj. I'm back with a very crucial uh, video. Uh, the title is How Not to Prepare English Literature Optional for UPSC Mains CSC. The reason I have to come up with this video is uh, because a lot of students, aspirants that I have come across in the last couple of years since I started teaching, posting videos, a lot of them start off with the wrong premise. So once and for all, I want to share my suggestions about things that you start off doing wrong. So I call it uh, flawed premise. So you think you got to be careful for when you're starting to prepare with English literature. A lot of this would probably would apply to other options as well, but I am very specific about English literature options. So let's figure out things that uh, you should not be doing or you should be careful with. A lot of aspirants call me, mail me, reach out on the YouTube page and they're looking for material, study material. And uh, if you are an English literature optional, you probably know by now that there are no courses as such, uh, no books. Brilliant tutorials used to do an English literature optional course some time back and their material is floating around the net or the market. But it's outdated and it's uh, not much help. So anyone who comes to me looking for material, I tell them that you will have to create your own material, right? And this is uh, very important for English literature optional, right? So the first thing you got to do when you figured out that you want to pick this optional is to get the UPSC syllabus, right? And read it carefully and then get all the original texts. All the original texts and then understand thoroughly paper one and paper two i have made a lot of videos about that about various papers uh, various strategies for both papers and how to understand the syllabus and all that read around talk to people right <clears throat> try to understand the syllabus first don't start looking for a ready-made material because there isn't any ready-made material that will help you so don't look for one you'll have to create one Second and the most important uh, thing is to prepare your own strategy. A lot of students, a lot of literature students, people with masters or BA in English literature, they make this mistake because they're used to reading text and they have text at hand. So they just get the syllabus and they're like, wow, let's start reading. And they just jump in and start reading the text. Guys, this is very important that you understand the syllabus first. You understand how the syllabus is divided in paper one and paper two. You understand how the paper, how the syllabus translates into the paper and into the questions. So, thorough understanding of how the syllabus is structured is very important before you start doing any preparation. And for that, uh, you need to prepare a strategy, uh, a good plan of action. Don't just jump in with the reading part. Because if you just jump in with the reading part, I can guarantee you that you will not be able to finish your reading part in six months or eight months. You will forever be reading. Right? So you've got to have a strategy as to how and what all will you cover in next three to six months. Right? And we'll talk about strategy in the next few slides. The first strategy, the primary strategy that I talk to students about is to take both the reading and the writing simultaneously. So, going back to the previous uh, point of jumping in with, this, with, the, with the reading part, the problem with that is that when you start reading and you think, okay, let me first finish all the syllabus and then I'll get back to writing answers or tackling answers, is that you take one far too long to finish your syllabus, finish the reading part, and by the time you finished your reading part, you don't remember much, right? And when you start pr pr practicing your answers, the reading part is gone. So it's paramount that you start practicing answers from day one. So when you read the first text, you go and do the answers right away. That is how I teach. That's how my courses are structured. Right from the week one, you will be writing answers. So what it does is, one, it solidify whatever you've read Right? It crystallizes that uh, in a proper format 
and two, you're practicing your writing because writing is what gets you marks. It doesn't matter what all you know. It's all about the expression and the writing. So you got to practice that skill more than the reading part, right? So write, writing is the crucial part that you got to practice from day one. So that should be part of your strategy. Now this uh, is again a problem area for a lot of students. Uh, maybe there aren't a lot of mentors or guides or coaching centers or courses or tutors for English literature optional. So students are kind of in the dark and they, they refer to everyone. They consult far too many people, seniors, ex-aspirants, professors. And uh, then in the end, when they're not able to find a good resource to rely upon, they head to the internet. And for every text that they read, they're consulting far too many uh, internet resources. What that does is that confuses you. Right? And I always say that the first primary and the most important text that you've got to be reading for your syllabus for the exam is your original text. So if you can read original text from the syllabus and read them again and again and make sense of it, that is about 80% of the needed text, needed resource. So you've got to figure out your uh, books and then don't don't uh, wander around. Figure out your mentors, figure out your guides and you got to surrender to those, those people that you uh, figure out and want to uh, rely upon. So don't wander around because this will spoil your preparation and this applies to all the optionals. I suggest that you only read all the original text, take some help in understanding those texts, some help, but do not look around for other people's answers or other other people's takes on those original text or poems because you got to come out with your own original assessment of the text. That is what UPSC is looking for. And if you refer too many sources, your own original thinking will be diluted, right? So this should be part of your strategy and game plan. That was the first slide. And you got to figure out which books, apart from the original text, you got to rely upon and mentors and guides too, okay? And this brings me to the most important part of your strategy or game plan, which a lot of people err with. This is again one of the things a lot of people are not sure about and they are uh, making huge mistakes by not having a timeline. For any optional, this is 500 marks. This is a matter of 500 marks. Two papers, 250 each. Any optional, and this applies to any optional, but I'll talk about English literature. You've got to be able to finish the syllabus at least twice. So if you start, let's say, 15 or 18 months in advance, that's the ideal time. But whenever you start, so if we start with the first point, the first course completion should not take you more than three to four months. Okay, our course is 14 weeks. So it should not take you three to four months. Just focus on getting the syllabus done as quickly as possible the first time around. Because as I said, you should also be practicing answers at the same time. So in three to four months, you will read all the text and you will have practiced hundreds of answers. So that's a good start. Then you put it away. Then you focus on your genius. questions in the comments, mail me and I'll definitely get back to you. Good luck with your preparation. Thanks and bye-bye.